with the Front Free Podcast with myself, Big Will, Coach Dan and the prodigy himself, AJ. Gents, how are we doing? Coach, how you doing, bro? I've got a headache from our last debate <laughs> <laughs> and this is clearly going to be another one, so I'm going to need some paracetamol and stuff afterwards. Guys, before you go anywhere, don't forget to comment down below, like the video, subscribe and of course, share it. Coach is going to share it to everyone he knows this week, so why don't you follow suit? That's a challenge. Throw it out there. Who can share more? Me or them? <laughs> I like that. I like See? that. Um, so in today's episode, we're doing um, start, bench or sell. And we're focusing on defenders today. So our three candidates are Virgil van Dijk of Liverpool. We've got um, Nemanja Vidic of United. And of course, John Terry of Chelsea. Who would you start? Who would you bench? And who would you sell? Gentlemen? Just before we go anywhere, I thank you all for this debate. With these three, because clearly we could not include Rio because Rio's starting. So we're looking for Rio's partner. Excellent. <laughs> there you so, go. uh, yeah, coach. Uh, it was funny, yeah? Because I was going to ask the question, yeah? Why is it those three? Because Rio's starting, bro. Rio's we... automatic, man. Yeah, man. Oh, oh, we're so Campbell. So, so, what about... so, 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 so's, um, injured. What so... about Jeremy Carragher? What? <laughs> yeah, I mean, man. Yeah, I tell you though, though, I give you that. That was a re- you done well with that. That Rio is looking for a partner, but that's a travesty that you know, they, 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 Rio should start with any of those three. But anyway, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so, <laughs> let's talk about Van Dyke. Um, his tenure hasn't been as long as those other two players, but tell us about the impact he's had in the Premier League in terms of his. Do you know what? And also, I don't think his tenure will be as long. When you say as long, it's Premier really League. as long as John Terry. Because what? Virgil's 30 now, I believe. Uh, is he 28, 29? I think he's or 30. 30. Well, yeah, he'll be probably p- pushing 30. Okay. I think he's 30 now, so he's got... Well, it depends Maybe. on him, innit? He had a big injury last season. Yeah. So, of course, you know, that might count against him. We hope not, mm-hmm. but... Yeah, Virgil, what a player, man. I think it was Troy Deeney who said, he's big, he's strong, he's quick, and he smells amazing as well. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what he is. He's a modern day defender, you know, mm. he's got it all. I think you look at him, he's quick across the ground, he's a leader, great tackler, wins great his one headers. On one, one of the best one on one defenders. You know, until um who drapes him the other week? <laughs> oh my days. Oh, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh my days. Brentford days. guy. Um Mbuemo. Was it Mbuemo? No. Wasn't Ivan. Ivan. Wasn't it Ivan? Was it you Ivan? Why you guys can't remember? You know why? <laughs> it happened. It did happen. It did happen. You know why you guys can't remember? Why? Because it's pointless. <laughs> anyways, Virgil well, anyway, Van Dijk. Anyway, that doesn't count. He's <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah. So anyway, yeah, Virgil. Yeah, he's come back from yeah, injury. Yeah. yeah, he's not the same. Yeah. Anyway, boring. <laughs> so yeah, Virgil. I mean, yeah, great player. Distributions on point. He can mm. hit the diags all day, day in, day out. He takes the ball in. He's a great ball player. Number one is what I'll give him. I think out of the other two, he's a better ball player than Terry and Vidic probably put yeah, together. Yeah, absolutely. So, honestly speaking, I think one on one, he's great. Great leader, same as the other two. Defensively, he's just solid. And of course, he chips in with the goals as well. So, no weaknesses, I'll say, in his game, really. Virgil? No weaknesses. I wouldn't say he's, he, there's really any weaknesses. Mm, yeah. I'd agree, I'd agree. I think, I think again, you know, that's testament to the type of defender he is. Of course, we know Vinic's um, weakness is Fernando Torres. And we know that John Terry's weakness is just the football pitch because he slips and misses a penalty. Her weakness you know is other, other players of wise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say anything today. Like, I'm, I'm always a bad guy. I'm gonna be. Nah, nah, nah. John Terry's John Terry's weakness is probably Terry Henry. Terry Henry, you know, he said drapes him about. But no, seriously though, um, you know, I think Virgil, you struggle to find a weakness, you know. All jokes aside, Fernando Torres is Nemanja Vidic's weakness. The amount of times Torres, bro, Torres dragged him all over um the theatre of dreams, dragged him all over Anfield. It's just a madness. <laughs> but we look at Vidic and like I said... And I think, board... sorry to cut you, I think if you look at those three defenders, I think Vidic um, had the most amount of, or has the most amount of red cards among yeah, them. Yeah, he was so a bit there's rash a few, at times. There was a few yeah. times he's, he was a bit like, when has Virgil been sent off? Even, when, when has Rio? Even look saying. at Terry, like his rugged style of play, like he rarely got sent off. Yeah. Very, very uh, good yeah. aspect of his game. Nah, you're, that's yeah. a great point you brought up actually. I think Vidic, he had the tendency to be rash, you know. Yeah. 
Whereas you look at Virgil, you look at Terry, even Sol, Rio, you know. They didn't they, get they, sent they, off they, 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 they were wily. Yeah. They were smart in, in, in the dark arts of yeah. defending, if you like to call it that. Yeah. But um, yeah, and then you look at Terry and, you know, arguably you could say he's a complete centre-back as well. Very good in the air, won his tackles, wasn't the tallest, but still one headers. Co- great commander, Decent great from tackler. the back as well. Underrated, I'll say. He's a what, his distribution? Back. Yeah, it was good. It was quite good, I'll say, yeah, from what I remember. Right. It was all yeah. right still. But Virgil's miles ahead of Yeah, of course, of course. Of course. Of them, yeah. I don't know. So, who? what would you think about the free first before I so, give my verdict? D- d- <laughs> Hearing the way you guys are speaking, it seems like you've come to a conclusion already, at least in who you're starting. <laughs> Who's starting for you? I, I mean, you see that I've been sat back just listening to you guys rave. Because in a way, <laughs> you're speaking for me. You see what I mean? <laughs> I oh, so you start Vin- um, Virgil. Oh, no, so I'm, you're no, going to start Virgil then? No, no, no. Like I said that you got fun. No, 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 no. I didn't say this. Don't do that. Because memory sounds right. All of you who are watching to know this guy bleeds for Liverpool. So, <laughs> that, and he said, you said, he, he, what did you just say? Whatever we said has made you happy. I, no, I never said that. I'm saying you guys been there raving about really one individual, which tells me that's who you're going to start. Not necessarily. And by what you just said, you I confirmed might, my. St- I might sell him. I might sell him because I don't like my centre back to be smelling nice. You can never do that. <laughs> you can never do that. Um, look, I think most of what you guys said is correct. You know, you look at Virgil. And um, he's a player that could play across generations, I think. Yeah? He can play football. Mm -hmm. So as a footballer, he can play. Mm. Passing, chips you goals Mm -hmm. in the other side. Not like those other two didn't, because John Terry was very good as well. He could get you a goal. So could Vidic here and there. Um, Maybe Terry, maybe not in Champions League finals. but (laughs) (laughs) He did score against Barcelona, though. Did he? Yeah, he did. That game where Ronaldo scored that wicked goal. Ah. Um, but yeah, you guys got good memories, you know. Right. Yeah, I just live the moment and I leave it. <laughs> you leave it there. That night was, oh. just, was that the yeah. Tick it down, tick it down, tick that top up. Oh my day! And Iniesta scored that night as well, didn't he? No, that was a that was that was a sec. That was a I think the year after. The year after. Yeah. Now that night, the Ronaldinho showed Chelsea his bum, man. That was insane. He ripped that game all night as well. That game was insane. No, that was that was um. So so then you look at John Terry, yeah. And I'm looking at, as a leader, in those three anyway, none of them are a better leader than him. Yeah, I can't disagree. As a leader. Yeah. So, you're trying to find a team or pick, a, you know, a squad there. You're looking for all these kinds of things. And depending, you know, who's... I, naturally, it's, it doesn't. Virgil, Virgil, like you guys have said, man, his one-on-one, phenomenal. Mm-hmm. He hardly gets beat one-on-one. Hardly. Yeah? Um, it's only recently now he's not quite, like... But yeah, so yeah, okay, yeah. And, and you can always you, you, the players like John Terry and and Vidic, you can rely on them when it comes to like when you're in the trenches. You get what yeah. I mean? Like mm. if their team was ever to be bombarded with with flurries of attack here, you can they'll be getting the header that clears it. Exactly, and, yeah, the tackles, that yeah challenge. You need that yeah. brave header yeah. that will do it, and yeah. that's what I loved about them. And you know, you guys have heard me say, you know, Vidic to me, mm-hmm. in the times I've been watching. Um, EPL, yeah? yeah, he's the finest centre half I've seen. Mm-hmm. Based just solely based on defending. the fact defending. Yeah, I what about he... the time you seen him against Torres? You, you know what's funny, yeah? He keeps going over that Torres thing. Yes, Torres rinsed him, yeah, many but, a time. But bro, so sad. You, there's only that one time where he he misjudged the jump and yeah, Torres went through and time, scored, bro. Every time Man United <laughs> played Liverpool, Torres <laughs> pulled his pants down. Everyone, everyone, everyone's been embarrassed here or there, so it's fine. <laughs> no, 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 no. Of course, you get embarrassed on occasion, you know. On occasion? Yeah, you get embarrassed. No on occasion is worse than the best left back to ever play the Premier League do a split. But we still give it to him, no? Ashley Cole? Yeah. Who made him do a split? Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but, but guys, but, Ronaldo is the greatest of all time, so you can't even... You know Torres, Torres... In his heyday, yeah, Torres was the best striker in the in the EPL. And that's, he was yeah, he was nah, very you're good. right. He was on cre- incredible. He was man. very good. No, but it's just. Yeah, I mean, he, Torres he, was just he dumb. compared like the three that really compared to him when it comes to like a period of time. Yeah, was like Henri and and Suarez. Mm. From what I remember, anyway, yeah, yeah. like Agüero was good, but I don't think Agüero was even that dominant like how Torres was at that time. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, he... <laughs> Agüero. 
Aguero is but legend. I'm talking about dominance, you know. But legendary, legendary. We'll leave this away. See, this time. is what I mean. Because like, like when I bring out oh Kaká, but you're like, well, it was only for a short period of time. Wait, what? <laughs> we'll debate this another time. Clearly, yeah. Clearly, we need to do best strikers in the EPL, innit? Okay. So we leave that for another yeah. time. But look, guys. What was that? Yeah, so you've got you've got leadership in John Terry. Mm-hmm. You've got sort of like that crunching bravery from 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 what's his name Vidic and Nemanja. Nemanja, yeah, Vidic, and then you got from Virgil. You know, just calmness on the ball, calmness able to personified. able to pick that passes. And you look at the the modern game now. Yeah, what are they looking for a defender that can play short and also knock that ball. Not like those others two couldn't. But it wasn't a, a, a feature in their game as mm. much as like mm. everything we're saying here. All these defenders can't do it, but what is their go-to skill or talent? You know. Yeah. And and Virgil Virgil is phenomenal. I sit here right now, yeah, and I'm thinking of it this way, because I think what you mentioned, you know, you don't think Virgil is gonna play as long as those two. I think right now, anyway, in the EPO, it's probably the same as Vidic. So it's really John Terry that's his only competitor. Mm, I don't mm. think. No, I think Vidic played longer. Vidic played for how many years in the EPO? He must have joined them around. It must have been like two thousand and eight, two thousand and nine, at least. Two thousand eight to two thousand and nine. That's when he started, yeah, and he finished when started. like two thousand fifteen, two thousand and fourteen. Check here, but whereas I mean, Virgil's only played for Liverpool since about what two thousand and seventeen. He played. He played at Southampton. Oh yeah, true. He played at Southampton. Yeah, Southampton that, that long though. Was there for like nah. two years or so? He wasn't bad at Southampton. He yeah. changed yeah, Southampton he a lot. That's, what that's when Southampton yeah. were one of the best teams in the league. Mm. Remember that? He come yeah. from Celtic, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. From yeah. Celtic to yeah. Southampton. Yeah. So he at Liverpool, he's been there for four years now. Mm. And you look at Southampton, maybe two years. That's six years. Yeah. Village, I'll be surprised if Village was at United more than six years. Nah, he was definitely at United. Clearly, but definitely, definitely be, be, be below eight years. Nah, I'll say about eight years. Vidic, I think AJ's checking out. But, but, okay, even if it he was... He was at then, United for eight years. Yeah. Eight years. Yeah. Virgil's going to beat that if you're looking at his age now because no, Virgil's not really going to leave Liverpool right now and go and join who, mm. right? So let's... We will see. Regardless, he's done enough anyway. To, Especially the titles Vidic has won. Like, yeah. He, Virgil's only won one title. Yeah, exactly. And if you talk about influence coming into a changing room mm. and sort of um, taking a team that Yes, Liverpool were exciting. They would score goals, but they were leaking goals as well. Mm-hmm. He just patched things up. Yeah. You know, he patched things up. And people make the argument, yeah, the son of that he's playing with, really, mm. are nowhere to But me. I think Matip has had a really good season. I've, to, uh, I've told you guys, I think he's jo- looking really Joe Matip is I'm very good. I think he's very good. Yeah. For a player that they go for, for free as well, yeah. that's a steal. Mm. Yeah. But very good on I was just ball. making a point that mm. a lot of people that watch the game here yeah, wouldn't rate Joe Matip as one of the... Mm-hmm. Or a great defender to yeah, play yeah. next to Virgil. Yeah. But you can't tell that because they just don't leak, mm-hmm. you know, when he's playing. Yeah. That's the impact he has, mm-hmm. you know? And John Terry, so of course, had some good partnership. You think about you think about Cavalio, he's even had it with Ivanovic, with, yeah. with um um David Luiz, with Alex. Cahill. He's played a lot. Cahill, yeah, yeah, he's played with all these, so he's yeah. he's got longevity, he's of with course. Some crap centre halves, man. <laughs> Ooh, John Terry? Yeah, man. What who are those are crap? Alex was not great. I, was, I remember him licking Arsenal a few times still. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alex wasn't great. No, David Luiz wasn't, wasn't great. You know, he, no, he, he wasn't, wasn't great. Yeah, but great. I think, I think, I think honestly, John Terry made him look a lot better than what they really were. That, that's, I'll be honest that's with you guys. Good, yeah, mm. probably people say Vidic made Rio look better than he was. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely the other way around. Right. But Listen, Rio, we we'll want you on our podcast, so you know I'm joking, innit? Rio, no, he was good. <laughs> but, <laughs> my point is, yeah, look. Yeah. Vidic, great influence, yeah? In a team, but not I won't say it's the same part as um um John Terry or or but then I guess it's a bit tricky because like coming to United where you got Fergie, you got Ferdinand, you got Neville, you got Skulls, Giggs, it's a bit difficult to come in and change that. Whereas Virgil, there weren't that many apart from what well, Stephen Gerrard had left at that time, there weren't that many James Milner. What happened to James Milner? James Milner was like one of the senior people at mm. Liverpool at that time. But there weren't as many as like United. As, as United. United. I think yeah. United was a whole different culture. Whole bro. different culture. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm talking about more like when when he went into the United. Yes, look, it's silly. So like the way I'm thinking of it, when he joined in here, yeah, he made them a bad defensive unit, of course. Yeah. 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 And I'm talking about in comparison to so like some of the defenders we've mentioned, Virgil playing with, <laughs> or even even John Terry. You mm. you have your arguments with so. Those other defenders, you know, next to Village was Rio Ferdinand, who's a very he's top 
top top defender. If you're if you're talking about five best defenders you've seen in the EPL, he'd probably be in the top five. Maybe three. probably he'll be in the mm-hmm. top five. You get what mm-hmm. I mean? In some people's books, top three, and that's mm-hmm. fine. So it tells you he was a very accomplished individual or very competent defender. Me right now, I can't start John Terry or I can't have both John Terry and Vidic in my team in the same team because I think they're very similar. No, but remember, you only started one and benching one, so like you but have one on the same team. No, but one's on the bench. And this is where and ages. This is <laughs> this where, <laughs> it's going to score. Yeah, this, and this is where ages point in the beginning is a very good one. <laughs> it should be start two. <laughs> that's what it should Start be. Start to sell one. Cause, cause no. sh- you know what? The reason why it doesn't work like that, yeah, mm-hmm. is because you play two at the back at least. You can do that with attacking players. So we could have we could put Rio in there and mm-hmm. make it start two, sell one, bench one. How about that? And Rio comes in <laughs> just to spice things up. We're not changing the debate. No, no, you're so, not changing it. No, you're yeah, changing, you're a, tweaking. No, he's, well, that's tweaking. his way of getting out of it, man. You're yeah, I know. Don't give him no get out clause here, bro. Who are you benching? Who are you starting and who are you selling? Let's start with who are we starting as a front three? Are we talking about today's modern day era of football? Any, any, any period any. of time. Yeah, yeah. I'll start John Terry. It's tough, it's tough. Start John Terry. Virgil, I think Vidic, 211 appearances, 95 clean sheets. Virgil's on about 169 appearances. What, 68 clean sheets from what I saw? 69? 169 appearances. appearances and, s- and 68 clean sheets. Vidic I love those goals he considered was from Southampton. Vidic's done 211. <laughs> And 95 or 96 clean sheets. Stats, man. Um, and then... <coughs> look. <laughs> okay, whilst we wait for AJ, coach, who, who are you starting? Virgil. Okay. It's tough because I've seen so much of all three. And they're all different. But the, uh, like you said earlier, Vidic and Terry are kind of cut from the same cloth. Whereas Virgil for me is more of a complete defender mm-hmm. because of his ball, his b- footballing ability, the technical ability, the way he can step into midfield with the ball and find passes. But if my team is what my team is, well, I need my centre back to be doing those passes, isn't that? That's the other question. What team? Well, it depends, isn't it? What, what is your team? <clears throat> so you'd start Virgil, you'd start Terry. Mm-hmm. I can't start with Vidic, man. Oh, can I? Nah, because what if a Torres comes around? Anyway. So... <laughs> <laughs> um, Leave Vidic uh, alone, bro. He's done Torres, enough. Torres, Torres yeah, ain't got his number like has, that. Yes, Um I'd start John Terry. Okay. I'd and John who Terry. would you bench? Virgil. Virgil with me as well. And I'd sell Vidic. Okay. I'll keep. I've, only because I think if I sold v- Virgil, I'd definitely regret it. Because of all the things... Virgil and Terry will be like the perfect partnership. Terry and Rio. Perfect partnership. We did see that. Mm. At England. Nothing perfect about that. Sometimes it's just about the gaffer. Mm-hmm. United fans will agree sometimes just to gaffer well then if you're the gaffer then definitely that wouldn't be a, a, an It'd excellent partnership either would it um, it would be fantastic I'll let Terry go I say that with a sorrowful heart very sorrowful seeing as you put him so what, top, remember he said top two Premier League captains by the way Isn't it? this guy <laughs> are you hungry he sold John Terry he showed are you he, he, AJ are you hungry he sold the way he's talking to John Terry bro it didn't me. take long bro what are you do you know why? No. I like my team to have good harmony. Hmm. Oh, nah. That's an <laughs> external thing that... But we're just talking about football and ability, leadership. Do you know Do you know how, yeah, you flip-flop, like, like, like the wind being tossed to you about... That's what we're talking about. No, but in an alpha <laughs> argument, yeah? Yeah. We, when we're talking about... We, we were talking about Ryan Giggs. You try to say, oh, Ryan Giggs, external thing, yeah. That's yeah, that's why he wasn't at my... The no, 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 like, even before... Uh, there was another thing. I think we were talking about even around the, 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 
ca- the Hall of Fame and stuff like that, and yeah. why they couldn't have him in there. That's yeah, but that's different. That's different. Why is Hall, that different? Of fame. That's Hall of Fame. That's is external. a whole package. Mm. Hall of Fame is everything. Yeah, but this is about also picking a team to go and play you a game. In a way, it's 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 its own Hall of Fame. Okay, for well, the all right, all right, go on then. But you know what I mean? Okay, yeah. so that's why you tell Terry. <laughs> no, I, look, it's cause yeah. I've said this to you. I've said this to you. Yeah. If I was making a team, EPL, in my times I've watched, I can't look past um, um, Vidic. I can't. It's not in me to do that. The eight years that I saw him, or however many years he was in the EPL, yeah, I was very convinced by him. The same. I, honestly, all jokes aside, apart from the times where Torres rinsed him, <laughs> I thought he was incredible. He, he will, he's, he's that guy, you know, that... You know, sometimes you get players come out, oh, it's about the team, it's about the team. No, Vidic was about the team. Yeah. And he took a few blows for that. You know what I mean? John Terry, the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I was thinking, yeah. Nah, he played great for um, Chelsea in the Champions League and the Premier League. No, he was, he was phenomenal, man. He mm, was rock. Like, yeah. we've even gone through the defenders that he stayed and played with, right? And that tells you alone how good he was. I was thinking of it this way, though. I was going to play, I was going to keep John Terry and Vidic. But I was thinking, they're, like, too they're, similar. they're too similar for me. And that's, what I'd, I'm that's what I'd keep. Um, and then it had, to be, it had to be a tough one. You know, the, I, I suppose when it comes to leadership, yeah, that's where Terry tips over on mm. both of them. But then you don't know who else I've got in my team, so... You're just going to have to wait maybe and I got Rio. <laughs> Roy. Maybe, maybe, so maybe i got Roy in front of them. Yeah, maybe. you've got Damien Duff on the right. That's it. Yeah. In his heyday, Damien. Yeah. Clinton and Dempsey on the, on the wings. On the left. David Beckham without the crosses. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> we love you, yeah? Keep your front free. That's it. Sign it out. <laughs> and we'll be back very soon for another episode, gents. <laughs> David Beckham. Take care. Three wise men will listen to There's only three wise men will listen to It's the front free No, it's the front free There's only three wise men